What's up guys? How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I am Jules. Thank you for coming back for another video. Next week is going to be towards the end of October. Get close to Halloween. Uh, hope you guys got everything that you're going to do. Uh, we tend to not really do anything around here. In fact, on Halloween night, we tend to kind of lock up and turn the lights out and just stay inside because our house is on a pretty busy street. And if we advertise that, like, if we're open for business for candy distribution, um, we will not get a moment's rest for about three or four hours. So we just don't do it. Um, and uh, so that's okay. Um, so uh, I've gotten a little stitching done. It's been a pretty busy week. My uncle came in town. Uh, he was in town for a few days. Um, just super busy while he was here. Um, I have uh, interviewed and started for a new position, um, just a different uh, driving position, one that I think I'm gonna like a lot more. But I've just been getting a lot, I, I've had a lot to do the last couple of days. So the Stitch With Me's have kind of fallen to the wayside. Um, and that would include the old world map Stitch With Me's. Oh, I just haven't had time to do them. Um, so hopefully by next week when we get, I think we'll finally be on a schedule next week, I hope it's been pretty crazy the last couple months um, just trying to figure out sort of how I'm gonna do all this but uh, but what stitching I did did done did did done on the owl um, so coming together nicely actually it looks really oh actually let's focus um, get the light right so I've probably done a couple thousand stitches I think since the last time I saw you and I've almost I'm working on a second eyeball right here so if I just if I just take these two all the way across, which I should be doing soon, um, he'll be doing good. So um, I want to say I'm about 20% done with him. I need to uh, I need to go back and look, but that'll that's my stitching priority right now, As, along with the giraffe selfie, which I have gotten a little bit more done on. And this one's this one's going to be so big when it's done. It's just it, you know you just can't you just can't compress these things. You got to let them be as big as they're going to be. And so draft selfies coming along. Uh, I honestly don't remember right now. I want to say I got 20% done with this one too, but I, I honestly, I don't know for sure. I probably told you guys last week when I pulled out my tablet and showed you the um, pattern keeper and everything. I was just go by those, just go, blah, 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 go by those numbers. Um, you notice how red I am? I don't know what it is. I think it's the sun exposure that I'm getting lately. Um, but my cheeks are like super hot. Oh, my hands are cold and I feel so good. Okay. Um, but anyway, whew, lots going on. But it's all good stuff, guys. It's all good stuff. So I have a lot of patterns to show you that I'm putting out on the store over the next few days. I hope to have most of it done, let's say, by Sunday. I don't want to, like, over... I can get these black and white ones, I think, out fairly quick. But the ones with color are gonna take longer. So just be a little patient with me. It's been it's been nuts. Um, but let me show you first. I'm gonna show you the color uh, patterns first because um, I, you know, I don't do a lot of, I do mostly monochrome nowadays. So let me show you kind of, let's see, how am I gonna do? Okay, we're gonna start off with, I call this one Golden Gearhead and it's another steampunk uh, inspired cross stitch. And uh, this one is 21 colors. And it's 260 by 310. And let me turn off my monitor because, boy, these colors aren't coming. Wow, what is going on with my... Do I have, like, an autofocus off or something today? It's weird. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, there it is. Um, 260 by 310. Wow, I did it again. As soon as I looked away, it did it. What is going on? Uh, something's wrong with my phone. Anyway, 260 by 310. So it's kind of bigger. Um, but it, trying to make it smaller, the gears just started, you know, that's why I call it golden gear head, but, uh, it's almost like a C-3PO with like his, with like part of his head off, like a more upgraded C-3PO. Um, there's that one. And then this is a kind of a famous French poster. It's not really something that I've normally been associated with, but it is public domain and you don't see very many of these out there. So if you guys like this old cat, wow, what is going on? Hold on, let me see if I can find settings. I can't. I can't find settings, but I've not had this happen. I must have changed something. Um, 
wow, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, the, what is it called? Tourne, I mean, okay, make fun of my French because I can't, I can't speak French. Tourne du chat no, nor, 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 I can never say that word. Um, 24 colors, not too bad with the colors, 190 by 280. So this is going to be like poster sized. And, uh, but if you've seen, if you think you've seen this before, you have, it's, it's kind of all over the place. Um, and then finally, a little winter, not really Christmas themed, but more winter themed, a little bit more cutesy, another owl thing, but I think you guys are going to like it. So this one is, I call this one this is appropriately named Owl Couple at Night. So you got these two little cute little owls, a male and a female, I think, um, bigger one and smaller one, and they're just wrapped, got their little scarves wrapped around each other, uh, 200 by 200. 26 colors it is full coverage so oh yeah and the french cat posters kind of what i'm calling it that one is um full coverage as well so uh both full coverage along with well this one which isn't full coverage anyway it'll all be laid out for you all righty so the monochrome ones let me see which ones i want to show you first um I'm just always looking out for like good black and white photos that I can use, that I'm allowed to use for these monochrome photos. So I'm going to throw stuff out that you're not going to be like, well, I'm definitely not doing that one or I am definitely doing that one. Um, just different things. I've got, let's see, how many do I do? I've got two more animal monochromes along with a person monochrome and a thing monochrome. Thing monochrome, something you don't see very often. These are just basically du like dueling pistols. Like back in the day when, if you are familiar with a whole, man, Aaron, uh, Aaron Burr and um, Hamilton. Uh, was it Aaron Burr? Yeah, wasn't Aaron Burr the one who shot Hamilton with dueling pistols? Um, but, uh, okay, so this, it, this is going to be like a wide... Oh, I'm so mad with the light. I'm so mad with you, light. Stop doing that. Um, so this is going to be 424 this way by 170. It's not a lot of stitching, though. It's very wide. Um, only about 12,000 stitches, which is... Um, I'm trying to think if there's a comparison up here. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Top of my head, I can't remember. Man, the light is really bugging me today. Um, next up, I got another horse. I got a horse monochrome for you. But this one, just the basic white horse. I have that one that is like feeding the horse, which is a little girl with the horse. But this one's a little bit more detailed horse. Um, this one comes out to 244 by 364. It's about 22,000 stitches. So it's basically twice the stitching that the dueling pistols is. But this looks pretty good. And you could obviously, if you wanted to do this on like a slightly different colored fabric, you could do it. And then that way the horse would be a different color. So again, you're only stitching the black, the black parts. So there's that. Um, for all you Australians out there, I don't do enough cross stitch for you guys, but I hope you like this one. There's a lot of stitching in this one, but there needed to be because we had to get this right. Um, I love this photo, uh, and um, I love this guy. He's pretty, he was pretty awesome. Um, so I call this one Steve and the Croc. For those who don't know, that is Steve Irwin, who um, was a very well-known um, Australian icon uh, who championed um, just wildlife and conservation, and especially when it came to crocodiles. And so that's more of a, I think that's more of a baby crocodile in his hands there, but I call it Stephen the Croc. Um, it's 411 by 444, and this one's a lot of stitches. This one's 49,000 stitches. So literally, I've been kind of doubling the stitch count all the way through with every, with every pattern. But this last one is the one you guys are going to love. Um, there's a lot of stitching. Again, it's about 48,000 stitches. It is a little bigger than you may think it is. It's very dense, and that's why there's so many stitches on it. And that's why it'll take you a while if and when you stitch this. But I, I got a sloth done. 
I got the sloth. Come on, come on. So sloth monochrome. So it's 438 by 423, almost a perfect square, and about 48,000 stitches. So that has come together so nicely. I love it. Um, Zuzu, I love you. Um, and so, uh, um, so yeah, so that's all the ones that I've, that I've gotten sort of somewhat put together. I still got to put them up on the site, which they'll likely not be on the site by the time you see them. Um, cause I'm going to try and get this video up here shortly, but, um, they will be up, they will be up there very soon. Um, so that's all I got. Oh, I was going to show you one more thing. I did, I did finish. I did finish this and so um got one down and then on the other one the brand new one that i have the brand new cone i did write the date and the projects projects that i'm working on with it now so we're gonna keep good track of that aren't we zuzu the boo boo zuzu the boo boo cray cray um but yeah that's pretty much it so um i think i need to put something on my face i'm so red and hot um but anyway y'all take care happy stitching um, if you really like my stuff and you'd like to save some money on it, the best way to do that is to join Patreon. Uh, at being a patron, uh, there's a link down below. Um, by being a patron to my uh, account, basically you get pretty good discounts. I mean, you're getting like a good 25 plus percent discount on, uh, on a pattern or more, depending upon what level you choose. And you can see all the behind the stuff stuff behind the scenes stuff um, when I put something out. So it's been a little busy this week. I haven't put a whole lot out. So, but anyway, y'all take care, have a good one and I'll see you real soon.